بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم so surah ibrahim is uh, chapter 72 revealed to prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam in makka all of the verses of the all um, uh, 52 of them were revealed in makka except uh, verse number 28 and 29 they were the two verses were revealed in medina so inshallah we will start today and uh, again there are a lot of things message that Allah said in this the, the overall essence of the chapter is that Allah sent messenger to every nation uh, who spoke their language till Ibrahim alayhi salam then after that the prophecy and messengerhood was limited to his family and then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says uh, is the greeting of the believers in the dunya and the akhirah is uh, assalamu alaykum and begin with the name of Allah the most beneficent the most merciful merciful so we are doing in the worldly life greeting as we would do in the paradise and um uh the quotation of the prayer which is uh, inshallah we will recite about read about it ibrahim alayhi salam supplication uh, which was taught to us uh, which we pray in each uh, salah rabbi ja'alni maqimas salati wa min dhurriyyati rabbana wa taqabbal du'a rabbana aghfir li wa li walidayya wa lil mu'minina yawma yaqum al-hisab as we heard in surah uh, nuh uh, nuh alayhi salam also ask for forgiveness of his four fathers Uh, so this is something very important to understand let's begin with surah ibrahim bismillah ar rahman ar rahim bismillah ar rahman ar rahim alif lam ra kitabun anzalnahu ilayka litukhrij In the name of Allah, most gracious, most merciful, a leaf, lamb, ra. This is a book we have sent down to you, so that you may deliver the people, with the will of their Lord, out of all sorts of darkness into the light, leading them to the path of the Almighty, the praiseworthy, الله الذي له ما في السماوات وما في الارض وويل للكافرين من عذاب شديد الله the one to whom belongs what is in the heavens and what is in the earth woe be to the disbelievers because of a severe punishment الذين يستحبون الحياة الدنيا على الآخرة ويصدون عن سبيل الله ويبغونها عوجا أولئك في ضلال بعيد To those who prefer the worldly life to the hereafter and prevent people from the way of Allah and seek to make it crooked those have gone too far in straying in the first three verses as we hear alif lam ra three letters which is used in arabic language as we know allah knows the secret of them all the prophet but these are the one in common arabic language at the time according to some scholar were used to seek attention kitabun anzalnahu this quran has been revealed upon ilayka upon you litukhrij annas so that you may bring people out from the darkness to the light بإذن ربهم by the will of their lord by the leave of their lord الى صراط المستقيم to the straight path of the mighty and the praiseworthy god that is the صراط المستقيم الله الذي الله is the one له ما في السماوات وما في الارض to whom belongs all the earth and all the all the planets and all the skies woe to the kafirin wail lil kafirin min al min adab shadid from the disbeliever because of the severe punishment they will be cursed and woe to them on that because they disobeyed the prophet and they did not worship allah alladhina yastahibun al hayat al dunya those who are in extreme love they adore the life of the dunya al al akhira over the hereafter yasuduna an sabil allah and they make hurdles or they stop and prevent people from seeking the straight path of Allah wa yabghunaha aywaja and they want them to go to the crooked path or make them to be crooked ulaika fi dalalin ba'id they are in the gone far in their misguidance then straying in from the path of righteousness 
Uh, these are the words which we have heard many times and repeatedly Quran talks about these things. Listen to the verse number four. وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَا مِن رَّسُولٍ إِلَّا بِلِسَانِ قَوْمِهِ لِيُبَيِّنَ لَهُمْ فَيُضِلُّ اللَّهُ مَن يَشَاءُ وَيَهْدِي مَن يَشَاءُ وَهُوَ الْعَزِيزُ الْحَكِيمُ We did not send any messenger but speaking. in the language of his people, so that he might clearly convey the message to them. So, Allah, let's go astray whom he wills and let's find guidance whom he wills. And he is the mighty, the wise. So verse number 4 is telling us that Allah did not just send Prophet Muhammad to the Arabia, but he has sent prophets in all nations. And so that they, it's those are who speak the, spoke in their language, so the people could be guided. So according to Islamic belief, every nation, when they talk about those righteous and pious people, they may be the prophets of God, they may be the messenger of Allah, and they have to be monotheistic. And we may not comprehend that. And later on, the nations start worshipping them, as we heard about in the Surah Nu, about that, how people made their pious and saintly people or the prophets like Jesus, Isa as a son of God. So this is how the other nations did to their prophets. Muslim, alhamdulillah, the only nation who did not belittle or misplace the prophet. Why? Because in the, our creed, in our karima, we say none is worthy of worship except Allah and Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. So that will distinguish messenger is a human, he was a creation of God, not a part of God, not the peace of God, not the, not the God himself. And now the conversation is turning towards Musa -Islam and his story with the Pharaoh and his people. وَلَقَدْ أَرْسَلْنَا مُوسَى بِآيَاتِنَا أَنْ أَخْرِجْ قَوْمَكَ مِنَ الظُّلُمَاتِ إِلَى النُّورِ وَذَكِّرْهُمْ وَذَكِّرْهُمْ بِأَيَّامِ اللَّهِ إِنَّ فِي ذَلِكَ لَآيَاتٍ لِكُلِّ صَبَّارٍ شَكُورٍ We sent Musa with our signs saying to him, Bring your people out of all sorts of darkness into the light, and remind them of the days of Allah. Surely, there are signs therein for everyone who observes patience and gratitude. This ayat needs a little more expanding and explanation. Uh, here Allah says, وَلَقَدْ أَرْسَلْنَا مُوسَى So indeed we send Musa بِآيَاتِنَا with our clear sign. An akhrij, so that he may bring out. Akhrij means exit. Qawmika, to your nation. Minat dhulamat, from the darkness to the light. Wadhakkirhum bi ayyam Allah. And remind them, they should remember the days of Allah. As we know in Quran, every day of Islam, every day is a day of Allah. There's not a day from anything other than Allah. Allah is the owner of all the days. But these are the special days which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is talking about. What is it in Islamic life today? That is what we need to understand. Like every Friday we go for Juma, that is a day of Allah. Because this day Allah created heavens and earth. This is the day Allah created Adam alayhi salam. And this is the day he uh, entered him to Jannah. This is the day Adam alayhi salam died. This is the day he was sent down to the earth and sin was forgiven. And this is the day day of judgment will be established so this day is the 10th of Muharram this is very important and it happened to be Friday and that was important for the day so 10th of Muharram is a very special day Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has landed the boat of uh, Nuh alayhi salam to the Mount Judi as mentioned in Quran so save Ibrahim alayhi salam from the fire of King Namrud and also he uh, lifted Isa alayhi salam to the heavens and he uh, had the uh, Passover in Jewish tradition that is the 10th of Muharram so these are the special days when Allah did a special thing and in Muslim tradition we respected the day of Allah one of the day is the 12th of Rabi ul Awwal which is known that the year of elephant Prophet Muhammad was born so all the 12th of Rabi ul Awwal all Muslim were they celebrate the birth of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and also Prophet Muhammad passed away in this day the 12th of Rabi ul Awwal some Muslims say this is the death day of Prophet why do you 
celebrate accordingly friday is also the death day of nu adam alayhi salam and nobody talk about that it is mentioned in the book of hadith and it is very much authenticated hadith that adam alayhi salam was born and died so muslims celebrate and rejoice the birth rather than death and we know from surah maryam we have heard isa alayhi salam said that's blessed is the day when i born the day i die the day i resurrected and allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in surah maryam says uh, blessed or peace be on the day when john the baptist yaya alayhi salam was born the day he died and the day he will be resurrected so prophets birth and death are not a mourning and sad and grief they are birth their birth is blessed they are living is blessed their death is blessed and the day of judgment who knows but only the prophets of allah knows that this is the day of a uh, special day of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so we are reminded and eid are the two days in the month of ramadan we have the quran Revel uh, revelation day as the day of allah we are uh, celebrating the laylatul qadr in that so there are special days eid day and the day of uh, uh, juma so these are the special days which we honor and the day allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, took prophet muhammad to miraj in the month of rajab and so these are all important day and as you could see the day are important because uh, Uh, when Muslims started their calendar, the Hijra calendar, the immigration calendar, when Prophet migrated from Mecca to Medina and the destiny of humanity changed. So this is a lot of things which we need to talk about. Some people say, why do you celebrate birthday of Prophet? That is a bidha. Actually, it is not a bidha. It is a good omen and it is being celebrated. And Prophet uh, Musa, when he got delivered on the Passover and he fasted on the 10th of Muharram, which is Islamic uh, celebration, uh, So no, Prophet Muhammad, when he immigrated, he asked them, why do you celebrate or fast this day? They said that because Allah saved Musa Islam, and Muslim of that time. So he said, we have more right over Musa than you. So he said, we will be fasting also, even though he fasted in Mecca when he was with the Quraysh. Because of Adam Islam to Ibrahim Islam, tradition were known among the Quraysh and the tribe of Quraysh. They used to fast on the 10th of Muharram. And it was one of the fasting obligatory days till the Ramadan become obligatory and the 10th of Muharram become unobligatory or uh, unrequired as uh, is optional fast but the reward of that fast is that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive one year worth of sin and when the Jews say that well you you Im uh, you imitate us one prophet's companion complain so prophet says his last year of his life that if i live uh, next year i will fast on 9th and 10th or 9th uh, 10th and 11th so this one extra day will be to make us distinguish from the Jewish tradition uh, also um, the days which are important in islamic history are those where special events happen like people uh, remember for teaching purpose the day uh, uh, the day of badr the day of ahad the day of immigration the day of birth and the death of the prophet and his family as we know in the 10th of muharram in karbala 61 year after migration his 18 year children to 21 family members were slaughtered by muslim in the battle of karbala so there's a lot of things of important to know and when you remember these days that keep you reminded otherwise these things get forgotten so allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says wa dhakir hum bi ayyam allah remind them of the day of allah inna fi dhalika li ayat li kulli sabar shukur indeed in this there are signs for all patient and thankful people allah subhanahu wa ta'ala honor them respect them and uh, revere them uh, let's listen to the next verse <laughs> 